All right, guys, Tom here, and welcome to a new video. Today, we are going to go through the results of Friday Night Smackdown, which will be televised today, but it was taped on Tuesday, this week on Tuesday in Topeka, Kansas. So it's usually taped, but it is tonight. So I'm ready, it's readily available online for me to view the results. And I know a lot of people don't watch SmackDown. And some people just want to know the results so they can keep up with SmackDown whilst they don't watch it. So tonight it is in Topeka, Kansas. And CM Punk started Friday Night SmackDown. He was advertised to feature on SmackDown on Monday Night Raw. Apparently, CM Punk was returning back to SmackDown. Now, I didn't really like how they worded that because it kind of sounds like SmackDown is the... We all know it's the smaller company out of Raw and SmackDown. The smaller brand, should I say. But it kind of diminishes SmackDown's... You know, it kind of makes him look small and, like, he's returning back to SmackDown. Like, it's, like, the smaller of the two when, in fact, you have the same kind of superstars on both Raw or SmackDown. Just one's longer and it usually has more champions. But it kind of diminished SmackDown a, a little bit. But CM Punk gave out, uh, came out and gave a promo. And, of course, Alberto Del Rio interrupts his promo. So it'll be interesting to see what CM Punk had to say to the WWE Universe. Why was he on SmackDown? Why Why did he really appear? Did he have anything interesting to say? Did he have something to say to the WWE Universe that he must, he just needed to say? Because they're not, it looks like they're keeping the Brock Lesnar and CM Punk food until after Money in the Bank. So I'm wondering if it's a, it's a promo asking where Brock Lesnar is or is he saying how he's definitely going to win the money in the bank and nobody's going to stop him even though I have a feeling that Brock Lesnar might have something to do with that but you've also got Alberto Del Rio I wonder why he's come out because he came out once when um, CM Punk came out when Randy Orson uh, sorry Alberto Del Rio was cutting a promo um, the night after payback and then CM Punk came out so this time we're doing CM Punk giving a promo and Alberto Del Rio comes out and of course we have a match a main event match set up for Alberto Del Rio versus CM Punk later in the night but the first match was the Usos versus Team Road Scholars which to be honest the Usos are absolutely incredible so are Road Scholars a very good tag team but afterwards the Usos defeated Team Road Scholars the Shield gives a promo on the Titan Tron or the big screen like they usually do backstage setting up the feud between the Usos and the Shield for the tag team titles at Money in the Bank. I don't feel like the Usos will defeat the Shield at uh, Money in the Bank. It will kind of make the, the Shield look weak against a not very established tag team as it, uh, being the Usos but I'm expecting a really 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 good match. I mean the Usos and Christian versus the Shield last week on Friday Night Smackdown Without a doubt, possibly one of the best matches I've seen this year. It was so good. And just the ending, the spots they did was really, really, really good. Now, uh, the next match was a rematch from Raw. Now, it was Alicia Fox versus Caitlyn. I mean, for one, Alicia Fox was a face. And now she's facing a face, Caitlyn. But we've also got a rematch from Raw. We've got the same match. That we had on Monday. Now, why do we want to see the same match? There's so much talent in the back. I can't believe they, they don't have enough heels to face Caitlyn. I mean, you've got Tamina Snooker, who is awesome. Why don't you use her? You've got one of the Bellas. You could have used her, but use Alicia Fox again. Like, the roster isn't that small that you have to use the same person in the same match again. But you've got Alicia Fox defeating Caitlyn who was distracted by AJ Lee. So the key point with the Caitlyn and AJ Lee feuds, kind of getting a bit samey-samey by AJ Lee or Caitlyn disrupting one another's match. I think they should really think of something new. I mean, there's, there's not really a lot they can play with, but I'm sure they can think of something new which could maybe build up the feud. I don't know. I mean, I thought their secret lover was a really, really good idea because it kind of made you kept you thinking for quite a long time and built the feud up slowly. You kind of have this thought of who could it be and yeah, I kind of have this doubt as if, is it really somebody? But I thought that's pretty good. But the last few weeks have just been having each other come back and forward, distracting each other. And Alicia Fox managed to defeat Caitlyn from an AJ Lee distraction. Now, the na next match was Randy Orton versus Christian, which they once faced off at SummerSlam 2011, which is a really, really good match. Remember when Edge came out? He was supposed to be in Christian's corner, and Edge basically said he was a crybaby, but whatever. That's not really a lot to do with it, but I was kind of annoyed that they had Randy Orton versus Christian. Possibly a pay-per-view match. 
on SmackDown. <laughs> but you had Randy Orton versus Christian. Christian's a face, so is Randy Orton. So I was a bit confused about that. But apparently this was the match of the night. Forget the main event between Alberto Del Rio and CM Punk. Apparently this was the match of the night some people posted on Twitter who actually went to the taping. So Randy Orton did actually defeat Christian. It was kind of like a, a nothing match, a squash match, I'd like to think. Whether they're building something, I don't know. I'll have to see what happens in the match. Can't wait for this match. Two great wrestlers. Should be a really, really good match. Looking forward to that. But Randy Orton did defeat Christian. The next match is kind of another samey match. Dol uh, Dolph Ziggler versus one of the 3 B members. In fact, it was Drew McIntyre instead of uh, Drew, uh, Drew, uh, Drew McIntyre this time. But last week, it was Jinder Mahal on Monday Night Raw. So afterwards, 3MB attacked Dolph Ziggler again. I don't know really why they keep doing 3MB attacking Dolph Ziggler. I can't think that they'd be building a, a feud between 3MB and Dolph Ziggler because they they just really wouldn't put on a very good match. But they've done that twice now. I don't really know what they're going for with that. But 3MB did actually attack Dolph Ziggler after his match with Drew McIntyre, after he defeated Drew McIntyre. So, the next match was Fandango versus Justin Gabriel. Now, Fandango lost to Sheamus on Monday Night Raw, but now he's won on SmackDown against the Jobber. I mean, his momentum, he, he came back and then his momentum went back to zero because he lost to Sheamus. And now he's on SmackDown, defeating a great talent is Justin Gabriel. And squashing him, like he always does, defeating Justin Gabriel. Now, defeating Justin Gabriel doesn't give him momentum at all because Justin Gabriel's a jobber and he's a great talent, but he's not very established. I said established already, but he's not very established in the WWE. So, I don't really see... Surely they could have put Fandango against somebody a little bit more established. I don't know, but it just... Fandango defeating Justin Gabriel doesn't really do a lot at all. It doesn't give him momentum. It just gets him on the match card. I mean, I don't understand why they couldn't have made him win against Sheamus. Or couldn't have put Fandango against somebody in the SmackDown Money in the Bank, like possibly Cody Rhodes or Christian, even though he, they both were on the night. Something like Dean Ambrose or something like that. I don't understand why Justin Gabriel was the one that, that got the head in this one. Now, the next segment or angle was Zeb Coulter, Antonio Cesaro, and Jack Swagger giving a promo. Now, I've seen a lot of people basically saying that this is a really, really good idea for, for Jack Swagger and Antonio to Cesaro to team up with Zeb Coulter. To be honest, I'm not really convinced at the moment. It does kind of feel a bit plasticky and a bit fake and a bit forced. I can't really see why people are kind of behind it already when I'm not really convinced at all at the moment. But interested to see how they go for that over the summer. I mean, I wonder how they'll do in the Money in the Bank at SmackDown. Maybe Zeb Coulter will help them or something like that. But I'm not convinced at the moment if these guys will be really the real deal. Now, the next or last match was Alberto Del Rio versus CM Punk. A rematch from Monday Night Raw the night after Payback, which is a very, very good show. You remember when Mark Henry turned on the WWE Universe and John Cena. But Alberto Del Rio versus CM Punk with Paul Heyman on commentary. Be interesting to see what Paul Heyman has to say about CM Punk and even Alberto Del Rio for a fact. Um... Yeah, that'll be pretty interesting. I mean, I've always liked when Paul Heyman comes on commentary. He has quite a few interesting things to say. I've always found him quite funny as well. So it'll be interesting to see what Paul Heyman has to say about CM Punk and maybe possibly Alberto Del Rio because Paul Heyman, CM Punk doesn't want Paul Heyman at ringside anymore. So it'll be interesting to see if Paul Heyman comments on that or CM Punk has an issue with Paul Heyman being at the commentary booth. Something like that. Um... But yeah, the match ends in a double count out, so both men get counted out. Maybe they took it to the crowd, something like that. Be interested to see what that what happens on that. Maybe I don't know. Paul Heyman maybe gets involved somehow accidentally. I'm not sure. So that's pretty much the result. CM Punk gave a promo. Alberto Del Rio interrupts. The Usos defeat Road Scholars. The Shield gives a promo on the big screen. Alicia Fox defeats Caitlyn by an AJ Lee distraction. Randy Orton defeats Christian. Dolph Ziggler just defeats another free on B member being Drew McIntyre instead of Jindam Hall on Monday Night Raw. Fandango defeats Justin Gabriel. Yeah. Zeb Coulter, Antonio Cesaro and Jack Swagger gave a promo. 
Bono and Alberto Del Rio versus CM Punk ended in a double count out with Paul Heyman on commentary. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I probably will watch SmackDown. I always do, but I know a lot of people don't actually watch SmackDown, so I'd be interested to see if you actually enjoyed the results. So post it in the comments if you kind of think it sounds like a good show. To be honest, it doesn't sound like a great show. I'm kind of interested in the CM Punk angles with his promo and the match between Alberto Del Rio. Looking forward to the Randy Orton versus Christian feud. Apart from that, nothing really interesting interests me. I mean, I'm wanting to get behind the Zeb Coulter, Antonio Cesaro and Jack Swagger feud uh, promo, sorry, um, and that on the whole stable, but I don't know. Um, doesn't sound like a great show. I mean, post in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching and goodbye.